Hey there, welcome to another edition of Solve My Math Homework. So today we have a basic integration problem that looks way worse than it is. So to do this, we are going to just use our basic integration definition. So let's get started. Let me talk about rewriting things. We did it when we had derivatives. Almost every time we had the square root of x, we rewrote it as x to the 1 half power. So very important to remember if you don't already know, square root of x is x to the 1 half power. Okay, and you're always going to, well, let's say almost always, nothing is always, use this because it is more helpful. Also, anytime you have a constant multiplier, so you have a coefficient, a numeric coefficient that's multiplied, whether it be a fraction, whether it be a whole number, if you had x cubed divided by 2, that would be a fractional 1 half, you can always take that out. So you want to pull that out and worry about um, that later, all right? So let's do some rewriting here. We are going to first take out our 4, right? That's our constant multiplier. We'll worry about that later. And then we'll have left x cubed times x to the 1 half dx. Okay, well, now we're going to combine our like terms, like it was 7th grade again, right? We're going to combine those. You wouldn't leave 2 times 3 in a problem. You would write that as 6, so we're going to do that. So we're going to have 3, so really x to the third is 6 halves, if we wrote it with a denominator of 2, times x to the 1 half. Remember, when you have the same base, you add your exponents. So this is going to become 4 times the integral of x to the 6, 7 halves dx. Okay? So already this problem looks way better. And let's bring this down because there's going to be work that you can't see if I don't do that. All right. So now we're going to use our basic integral definition, property, whatever you want to call it. Okay. So the basic property or the basic rule for integration is that you are trying, remember, we're going the opposite way of a derivative. So we're going to add 1 to the exponent and we're going to divide by that new exponent. All right, that's going to get a little messy here because our exponent's fraction, but we can handle it. So this will become 4 times x to the, instead of 7 halves, we're going to add 2 halves. So we're going to have 9 halves, okay? And we are going to divide by that new, new exponent of 9 halves. But instead of doing that, let's multiply by 2 ninths, okay? So let's clean this all up. Down here, we're going to say this equals 4 times 2 ninths. Okay, maybe put 4 over 1 so you don't make some, you know, basic mistake. x to the 9 halves. Okay, and then we have a plus c, of course. But let's clean this up. Let's not leave this. 4 over 1 times 2 ninths is simply 8 ninths. x to the 9 halves plus c. That's it. We're done can't clean it up anyway. You don't need to rewrite that with a radical. It's perfectly fine exactly as it is. Okay, so we just used the basic integration definition for that one. Wasn't too bad. Just started out uglier than we hoped it would look. If you have any questions, pop them in the comments section. Before, Be sure to like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so the next time you get stuck on your homework problem, you can send it to me.